what's going on everyone it's the print house today we're talking about something very very important and that is machine profiles material profiles and parameters now when we get into this we're entering expert mode i'm not going to be covering all of the different settings i'm just explaining how machine material and parameters interact with each other because this absolutely is different than cura prusa slicer and, and any of i have never seen a setup like this so we're going to go ahead and cover it so before we get too deep in, I'm going to just tell you what a profile is. So a profile is click more and you get the uh, you get you get the kind of rundown of what a profile is. It's basically, um, you know, this is my machine profile, my Ancrimic M5 profile. I have my PETG profile, my TPU profile and on my parameters, I have my expert mode and then I don't have any customs. A profile is a set of default settings that you can just come over here, you click a drop down and change. I go from my TPU profile to my PLA plus profile. The profiles are simply so you don't have to remember all the different all of the different settings from one to the next because every material is going to print differently and some of them print drastically differently and you just don't want to have to memorize all that. So the reason we have machine profiles is because Anchor Make Slicer wants to be able to be used for different printers, not just the Anchor Make M5. It wants to be able to be used for Enders and Prusas and Elgus and everything else. And so Anchor Make M5 is a default profile because obviously it's made by the same company. You know, this slicer is made by the same company that makes the printer. So if the what if the profile uh, you want is not here let's just say for you know an ender 3 which it probably isn't I do, uh, if I can go ahead and change the name of this let's just make uh, you know ender 3 uh, I don't know if this is actually the right settings but call it what it is this now allows you to change the size of your printer X Y and Z it allows you to change the shape it allows you to set the uh, heated build plate now all of these are generally default settings that are correct um, you know pretty much the only thing you're gonna want to change nowadays is probably gonna be the XYZ but getting a little detailed here that's unnecessary you have a start G code and an end G code the start G code it executes whatever set of code is here whenever you click the print button and then whenever you finish the very last line of printing G code it executes the ending G code Generally, you're never going to need the start G code. Uh, the only reason you would ever need the start G code is in some cases, um, you might want to activate a, uh, a bed level probe or something. But in the case of what you need to know, you don't like we don't have that on the Anchor Make M5, so you can kind of forget this. Uh, the NG code, this usually retracts filament and it moves the nozzle to the corner of the bed. This way it's out of the way. And sometimes it also moves the print bed to the front. This way it's easy for you to get the print when it's done. Now you can also apply multiple extruders. In this case, Anchor Make Slicer isn't ready for that, but in the future it will be. And so you could have one, two, three extruders or however many extruders your printer has. And you've also got extruder settings. Now you've got start and NG code for that as well. So let's just say you have two colors or two extruders. You have color A and color B. Whenever you start printing with color A, the uh, extruder that is act that is uh, you know actuating color A runs the start G code. Usually this means it primes the filament. Priming the filament means it just extrudes you know three to five millimeters of filament. Um, and then whenever you transition from color A to color B, you execute the end G code. Usually executing the end G code for an extruder means you retract the filament by about five millimeters. Uh, and then at, in that transition, you do the end G code, and then you go to the extruder that's actuating color B, and you run the start G code because now that extruder is starting. And then you run this cycle every single time you do a transition. So when you transition from A to B, from B to A, or from A to B, B to C, C to B, B to A, whatever it is, you get the point. You always run start and end when the extruder starts uh, and ends. And of course, in your case right now, this is blank and you don't need to change it, but merely for understanding what it is. Now, material profiles are very similar to machine profiles. 
on the material profile basic ones here are PETG TPU PLA plus and ABS all of these materials they're different plastics they have completely different printing parameters you have different temperatures print speeds uh, build plate temperatures maybe flow rates all this stuff might be ever so slightly different and what happens if you have PLA plus that is a matte PLA and then PLA plus that's a chrome or a dichromatic or something you have a different kind of PLA it's going to print differently and so you're not going to want to remember all of these ridiculously large amount of settings for every single roll of filament especially if it's a brand new roll of filament you don't know what the settings are you know you're going to be tweaking things and you want to save profiles this way you can come back to it in a week or in a month or heck maybe a year um so material pro material profiles are very similar you can create a brand new material we're going to call this uh pla plus uh matte because why not and then we could have a PLA plus for, or we'll have a PLA plu, uh, plus Chrome. Why not? Uh, don't, you know, just random names. Now, I'm not going to actually change these settings uh, because this is, uh, but this is where this uh, Anchor Make Slicer differs from every other slicer I've ever used. Your material profile only consists of these seven different settings. You've got your print speed or fan speed. Uh, um, bed uh, bed temperature printing temperature and uh, so you set these and they're they're just default basic settings now what you can do is you can create a parameter so let's say I want to use uh, let's I want to make a new parameter and I want to use my ender 3 with PLA plus mat now this is gonna be I'm just gonna call this uh, num1 and I'm gonna go ahead and hit the save button and then I'm gonna create another custom profile and it's gonna be my custom profile num2 but what happens if I want to use my um, PLA plus chrome but I still want the ender 3 so I go ahead and save that now just so you can get an idea I've selected PTG and anchor make your parameters it's a custom set of machine settings and material settings and it goes even deeper than that once you have a set of parameters for machine and material now you can change all of the settings for the plastic so if on num2 I want my uh, I want my print speed to be or sorry my print temperature to be uh, let's say 200 and 10 degrees I can save that and then now on num2 if I come over here to the material uh, material section my temperature is 210 I go to num1 and you see I'm now at PLA mat and my temperature is back to 200 but it's still the ender 3 and guys I mean you, you kind of understand what, what, what I'm getting at here is now I can have like num 1.1 right so 1.1 is going to be the same thing as num1 except i want it now to be on the anchor make m5 so i can have num1 which is pla plus matte ender 3 or i have num 1.1 which is pla plus matte anchor 5 guys if this video is helpful drop some comments down below and let me know also please leave a like and a subscribe and if there's anything that you guys want me to cover leave those in the comments down below as well guys i'll see you on the next video bye